Hi guys, this is David, and uh, today I just want to talk about some JRPG news. The last week or so has been pretty exciting in regards to various um, JRPGs being released, and just news in general. So the first thing that I want to talk about is Mother 3. Mother 3 is a sequel to Earthbound, which I'm sure everybody knows and everybody loves. It was released only in Japan, though, for the Game Boy Advance way back in like 2003. It's been translated into English for quite a bit of time now. However, just today, for the 15-year anniversary of the translation patch being released, it has gotten a new retranslation that not only fixed a couple of typos and stuff, but also some bugs with the original version. So if you've been putting off playing Mother 3, now is a fantastic time to do so. Go on over to romhacking.net and you can download um, version 1.3 of the new translation of Mother 3. It is a fantastic game. Highly, highly recommended. The next thing that I want to talk about is Tales of Arise. It has a release date! Woohoo! It's finally coming! September 9th of this year, Tales of Arise is coming out for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, it's coming out for PC. It's coming out and I am so happy about that because I love the Tales games. Yeah, PlayStation 4 had some great Tales games. Well, uh, not, not you. Oh wait, no. Wait, which one is not you? Not you. <laughs> yeah, not you! I liked you two, not you. But anyway, um, the Tales series is coming out uh, with Tales of Arise. That should be a lot of fun. I've looked at the trailers and everything. Everything looks to be a classic, wonderful uh, Tales experience. I am definitely looking forward to that. Uh, again, coming out September 9th of this year. So we finally have a release date for that. The next thing that I want to talk about, uh, and the last thing that I, well, no, 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 it's not the last thing I want to talk about. I just looked and I have some more stuff that I want to talk about. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is Saga. Yeah. Um, Saga Frontier Remastered came out. Now, a lot of people have asked me like, hey, David, are you getting Saga Frontier Remastered? What do you feel about Saga Frontier? You know, all that kind of stuff. I was never the biggest Saga fan. I liked Final Fantasy Legend 1, 2, and 3 on the Game Boy, and then Saga, or uh, Romancing Saga 1, 2, and 3 on the SNES never did come out here uh, way back when. I know that they have been remastered and they have been re-released, but something about open world games like that where you really don't know what to do or what the story is, and it's more about just like battling and sparking abilities till you finally get to the last boss and all that. That sort of stuff just does not appeal to me. I like a more tighter, linear storyline. A lot of people are like, you know, they, they go poo-poo on the linearness of uh, stories and stuff like that, but not me. I like a nice linear storyline. Um, Saga games are not like that. If you like open world exploration, then yeah, grab Saga Frontier Remastered. Um, I've heard that there's also some quality of life improvements, like uh, quick saving, um, monster skills, not like, you know, it's not always like the last one getting dropped off. You can kind of choose which skills get dropped off. Um, sparking has been made much, much easier as well. So if you like Saga Frontier or you like open world games like that, or you just want to check it out, hey, do so. And for me, the final nail in the coffin as far as not getting Saga Frontier Remastered was that it doesn't have a physical edition. I want a physical edition. I know I'm old school. I'm almost 40 years old. Like, so sue me. What do you want? But I've also heard that Square, um, like, not only have they remastered Saga Frontier, but I heard that they're going to be remastering Saga Frontier 2. They're going to be remastering um, Romancing Saga. And we already got a romancing saga kind of remaster but they're not remastering this version they're going to be remastering the snes version for whatever reason um and then there's rumors swirling 
that they're going to create a new Live Alive game or Live a Live or whatever it is that you want to call that game, um, that they're going to be remastering that one. And I know a lot of people really liked that on the SNES. Um, me personally, I know it's like sacrilegious, but I also wasn't really a fan of that either. Um, maybe I'll give that one more of a chance because I did like Live Alive more than I liked Saga Frontier, so I'll at least give it that. And the next thing that I want to talk about is... Nier! There is a new Nier, or Nier Remastered, coming out in just two days. And um, what it is, is that, where is it? This one. Okay. What it is, is that we, there, there was two Nier's that came out in, um, in Japan. There was Nier Replicant and Nier Gestalt, I believe. And the, well, the one that we got was Nier Gestalt. Um, but Nier Replicant never did come out in America. But in two days, we'll be able to get that. And I heard that it's actually the... The, the, the true prequel to Near Autonoma. So, yeah, very exciting news um, coming along, and I just wanted to kind of just give you guys a little wrap-up of what is going on in the coming weeks. Let me know what games you guys are excited for. Let me know what games you guys are going to be getting. And, uh, yeah, have a good day.